Welcome back to the Vortex, the Time Vortex. This is Strato Time, or Strato, here for another episode of Roll20.net, uh, Last Tower Let's Play. Uh, again, if you guys are enjoying it, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get on with the show. Alright, go ahead and take it away. Alright, as the orc falls and gets pushed to the ground, the Red Queen says, uh, yells, though no one touches the name. You touch it, Lenny, I pike you. I would not want it. Not after all. Oh, she wants to touch it. She wants to be piking people. No, I don't want to pike people. Never. Um, where do you want it moved to for now? Hmm. I know, I can't touch it. The best thing to do is to put it in um, in a uh, case. She gestures over to um, a case. How far away is it? So she puts that next to her. Hold up for a moment. Can everyone check their mics real fast? Yep. Did you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me? Mm hmm. No. Oh, God. People are watching me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. There was just a weird hiccup in the background sound. That's why I was saying check your mics. Leo, go ahead. Is that, is that okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, it's you. You have some weird thing in the background. Like, what does it sound like? Yep. Is that better? Is that better? That's hello, better. hello. I don't need anything. Okay, I will. Is um, it still there or no? God dang! It's come gone on now. You're good. It's gone. You're good. Okay, I will have her place the uh, box next to it, and I'll mage hand it into the box. Okay. She closes the box. I'm not touching it. Well, <sighs> she sighs. No, it's it's back. I don't know what it is, man. It's got to be your mics, some some sort. How's that? Try again. Just try talking just a little bit longer. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That sounds That's better. It's bearable. Let's just move on. Hold on. Is it? Is it because of my push to talk? Um, maybe. Uh, try try turning off the push to talk and try it again. Yay, technical difficulties. Alright, dumb question, where do you change the push to talk? Uh, there's a gear icon on the bottom left side next to your name, which is, should say user settings, and then to video under app settings, and there your push to talk should be there. You can alter input and output volume, which might be, because uh, it kind of does sound like it's reverberating between your speakers and mic. Oh yeah, that's continuous. Can you hear me now? Yeah, but the um, effect is continuous. Yeah, go yeah, back to push the stock. Yeah. It's do, do. 
Fast push was... talk. It sounds like there's a machine making some sort of noise in the background. Yeah, it's like you're hammering. Okay, we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah. Alright, so we finally killed him. Uh, what does the Red Queen say? Okay, is that any better? Testing one, two, three, testing? Nope. Still there. Just don't worry about it. Just we'll just move on. We'll figure it out later or something. We know you're not doing it on purpose. It's just some weird thing going on. Well, I don't know why we... Uh, okay, whatever. Shut up me now, though. Thank you. With it for now. Let's just continue the game. I have my mic settings down low. I don't know. You are you hearing my uh, speakers in the background? Is that what? It's it's uh, just a consistent hum and beep. Um, it could be something's uh, near your speakers causing. Um, some river cell phone might be it doing it. I don't remember the sound being there in combat, so. Yeah, it wasn't there prior to the break, so somehow it popped up after the break. I would say probably a device that was placed near your speakers. Or maybe something near the mic. Near the mic. Yeah, but I moved the mic. Uh, is that better? Or no? Oh, that's so much better. Yes, it is. Yep, it is. Okay. So we're putting Lily to touch this again, right? Lily? Nope. No. Nope. We, 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 have polar, we've already put it in the box, so that's it's not. Oh, it's done. come on! She wants to be evil. Look at her. You can tell she wants to do it. She, we we all know she wants to be an undead druid. There's a difference. True. I don't want to be undead. I don't want to be possessed. I don't want to be cursed. I don't want to be undead. I mean, you had a ghoul army a little while ago. Together. Any well, you served your punishment for killing somebody, but I recommend in the future not to kill people in cold blood. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Yes. Moving on. Moving on to the business at hand. Um, since we are uh, tasked with this um, mission. Um, what fun appropriate for us to have to equip ourselves for the mission? What would you need? Um, well, let me think about that, and I'll get a shopping list for you, and then we'll go from there. Well, to, uh, um, each ten thousand gold. Ten thousand each. Oh. Oh. You're lucky. Okay. 
Yeah, ten thousand is more than enough. Uh, to each person. Yes, you get ten thousand. We each get ten thousand. Yes. Yay! More stuff. Yep. All right. Well, um, now we have to figure out what to do with the maze, but you will take care of the um, talking specials, activating the portal, and um, the maze can be put on a back burner for now. Although, if you want to have some wards and protections cast on it. I do happen to have a wizard friend. She means a lich. Shh! You can't, you're not supposed to say that part. I don't care, I don't trust you. Technically, he is. We'll take care of it. Okay. Let the queen worry about it. <clears throat> Alright, so. Zahidin, so what do you do after you meet the queen? Hmm? What do you do? What do I need to do? I don't know. Tell me. We've obtained our objective. I mean, obviously she hasn't obtained the staff, so she's not addressing me about it, so I don't care. I talked to her I'm about I'm talking that about after, after the Queen's... Uh, you got your 10,000 gold... And you're getting ready to go on this uh, trip to the tower. Do you just follow Aaron around, or do you? What do you do? Um, I don't really have anything to do right now after seeing the queen. I don't know what we really need for supplies for this trip at the moment either. Yeah, let, let's think about what we want to bring, and then if we need to... Yeah. Alright, so, you guys arrive at the, uh, the inn you guys have been staying at, and you're in the uh, the room talking out what you guys are planning on doing. That, that sounds like a plan. We could burn the buildings to or raise to hell. Well, I think uh, Zedin's uh, plan of scouting is good. Uh, burning is always a good option. We we like burning in this party. I don't. Burning and piking. Well, okay, I may like burning a bit. Piking is good. But no piking. I will uh, teach you the joys of piking. But no. being that we're going against fire giants, I think we're going to have to do the op. I need a bigger pike. Oh. <laughs> I need a bigger pike. <laughs> we're, we are fighting. We might end up fighting some giants. So I um, can about what giants are weak against, and we could go from there. That would be beneficial. Perhaps make preparations to go through the desert. Yep. Um, and, uh, Lenny, since you are the druid, um, I would consider you more of an expert than I am about uh, getting the things together we would need. For yes. the desert? Yes. I, I can do that. With I serve nature. I think it's all a lie. She's just evil. No, our character, I just don't really know what to do. About. Just That's standard good. stuff, you know, maybe buy some camels instead of horses. Uh, things like that. Gear for the hot weather. Roll survival checks, nullness nature checks. Yep. A water and a cart. Yeah, let's just uh, say all that because I forgot all the. Oh, we forgot all, all of that. <laughs> water important. Okay. 
How are you going to travel? Are you going to travel by land? Um, actually, we only need one. We don't need barrels because we have a droid. That's right. We can just create water. So we yeah. just need a barrel. Aaron, I linked you the information you found about Park. Also, Look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a heavy crossbow. Why would that? Because oh, I would like some wings waiting. So yeah, I would say we buy a couple camels so we can travel easily by land if we're going by land. Yeah, that's a good idea. Some animal. I would say camels because they're used to. Just... Or as much water as a horse. We may have to pick those up at a different town, though. Now, each one of those hexes is a hundred miles. Just be aware. There we go. So we need two camels. At least. <laughs> one for you and one for Lena. Lena can turn into a bird, and I have a dragon. Yeah. True. We'll need to buy food for them. If we're going to take a cart, I don't know if we need a cart, but we need a cart full of supplies for, like, food and all that. I think it would be a good idea to take a cart. So we'll need at least three, then, probably. Yep. You could stack a lot of gear on a camel. Yeah, they're just, like, horses, just as strong. It's just... <clears throat> they're a little different. But, uh, All right. So, um, we'll definitely need to get plenty of jerky for the trip, right, Rasmi? Something easy to make, or easy to store and save. Dried meats, hard tack bread, something that won't spoil in the heat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the night to gather supplies, so who's going to go? I guess I will. Alright, and uh, what are you going to do, Ozeke? <clears throat> are you going to be the one that shops for the carts, or what are you going to do? Okay, then... I'm thinking. Um, other than research, I'll grab some protection spells, like uh, Endure Elements and Protection from Fire Scrolls. Alright. Did you go ahead and calculate the cost of those? Yep, will do. Alright, and now I'll uh, roleplay you going. Rasby's getting uh, camels. Leany, what are you doing? Right now I'm just buying things that I think I would need. Right now I'm just crossbow, a hill crossbow. About other things as well. Okay. So, uh, Lena, you go. Where you go to look up the fire giants? The information you find on fire giants. Well, I'd probably go to a scribe if I don't know the information myself. Okay. <coughs> the scribe. Uh, give me a perception check.
<laughs> Beautiful natural 20 on that. Unless uh, on your way to the scribe from uh, the... You, you think you're being followed. You see a couple people appear uh, in the rooftops and scurry, and scurry and jump to the next roof. Like, um, they, they're like looking at you from the street and moving with you in an unnatural way. Time for me to get up on the roof. Okay, where are you gonna go? I'm. I climb up on one of the roofs. Okay. Then what? Well, I guess I'll just keep going. So you climb down from that roof and then continue on your way because uh, you won't be able to jump from rooftop to rooftop to get to where you're going. Oh, they're not that close together, huh? No. Yeah, I mean, you can jump on some of the rooftops, but you'll still need to hit the ground when you get closer to the scratch. So give me a acrobatics check then, or a jump check, whichever one. I mean, I am a rogue. I should be able to do this. Okay. And, uh, hold on. I know some people are following me, so let's do this too. <laughs> and then, you know, try to create a diversion to hide. What are you going to use to try to hide? Well, uh, I still see them following me, right? Yes. Once I get down off one of the roofs, because you said I have to, I'm going to cast Obscuring Mist, and that, uh, I'll hide from there. Uh, you lost your tail as you get to the scribe. Um, the scribe greets you, gives you... I didn't, wasn't able to discern any other distinguishing features about them, right? Um, they were orcs. They looked orcish to you. Okay, I will use my headband of disguise to make myself look like someone else. Alright, uh, Razmi, where are you going? Uh, I am going to go f by camels and by cart. Alright, you head off to the uh, animal uh, places where they sell pack animals and carts. So I will. Roll me a perception check. I get a plus ten to my disguise uh, check for my th from. Okay. If that matters. You also notice that you're being followed. I, not being as subtle as my other compatriot here, turn around and stare at them. Alright, they don't seem to move. I mean, when they stop when you stop. And I start to draw my rapier. They just, uh, they're acting like normal people just standing there, but you know that they were following you when you go. I okay. Some of the people's clear path for you as you walk towards uh, 
the person that was obviously over. He, he pretends to look at, uh, like, look at, uh, pretends to be, like, uh, checking, uh, like a hat on one of the merchant's tables. I stab him in the leg. Go ahead and roll the hit. This is a different center play style. I'm so non-violent compared to you. Well, you're not the da you're not a damage dealer. Oh, right? seriously. So you go to stab him in the leg, and he like jumps out of your way, and he's like, "Guards, this man's attacking me!" As you see, some of the orc <laughs> guards approach the area. Yeah. Oh, I should have. I wait for the orc guards to get to me. They're like, excuse me, sir. Um, what seems to be the problem there? This man just came out to attack me with his rapier. Well, kitty, what do you have to say for yourself? I tell him, go talk to the Red Queen. I put my weapon away, and I walk off. They, uh... One of the guards does get in front of you. Like, try to block you off. And he's like, excuse me, man, sir, but, uh... We weren't done talking to you. Go talk to the Red Queen, what they accept. Just talk to her. About what? About whatever you want, because she's going to laugh and kill you when you bring... Okay, roll and intimidate check. Are you trying to intimidate or what? Eh, uh, kind of. Ah. Uh. No, Razzly, you're so good to us. Well, oh, goodbye. It was a horrible roll for me. There's a bad luck in the rolls right now. I'm blaming Dana. I don't care if you know the Queen of Sheba, but you're coming with us. Guards. So they. Do you let them take you in or do you fight them off? Did it grab me? No, they like try to lead you in a direction, but they're not like trying to. I don't lead. move. I just stay yeah, there and I stare at them for a moment. Alright, then they will try to grab you. And I wink at the guy that was following me. Okay. Do you go with the guards or not? No. So... Okay. Um... I look at them and I go, I'm waiting for you to go get the Red Queen. Does that beat your CMB? Oh, let me see. I can't tell. Hold on. I gotta... By a point. Alright. They both grapple you. It's your action, sir. Wait a second, I gotta look at something that I bought earlier. What oh, it does again. 
bring a freedom of movement. No grappling for you. No, it was... Ah, yes, that's... I wiggle free. <laughs> and stare at them and go, I said go get the Red Queen. Alright, one guy will aid another, so I'm going to roll a d20. He aids, so it's a plus two now. 27 be if you're seeing me. Yes, it does, so you're grappling out. Then I will attempt to wiggle free again. Okay. And I will stare at them and say, we can do this all day. Or you can do as I said. Uh... Uh, yeah, you're sitting there playing wrestling, uh, basically. Yes, I know. I know. I'm uh, going to the hell people you, following me. What are you doing? Going around and buying stuff that I believe I will need. Roll me perception check. Sorry, there is a reason why I was doing that. Hmm. You're creating a huge scene. Sure? Sure? Exactly. It's pretty high. Yeah. I'm creating a very huge scene. 32. <laughs> Your bird tells you you're being followed. Of course he does. Uh, let's see, what should I do? Uh, I will... Stop up. Turn around and look and see who it is that follows me. Yeah. Um, the reason why this one, uh, there was an orc that was following you. Another orc. I, I walk off to the orc and. Excuse me, can you please not follow me? I'm not in the mood right now. I know what you're talking about. I know you're following me. Mike here has yeah, seen Ma'am, uh, I, I, you're not that good looking. You're not my type either. Ooh. I don't like you. You cannot deceive an eagle's eye. Mike here has been oh, watching time. You're following me. You think too much of yourself, lady. No, I think... You are against the queen. Just because I don't like your ass. Oh no, no. Because you will follow me at this moment. After what just happened earlier. Listen, following you? <laughs> That's stretching it. Uh, can you believe this person? He points to another orc and the other orc just like looks at him like doesn't understand the conversation. But he just stands where he's at looking at you. Alright, I, I won't follow I, you. I, Move along. I take out my dagger and aim it and just hold it close to the quads of the orc and be like, listen, I mean this, do not follow me ever again. Want me to roll right. He just looks at you. I'm threatening him to not follow me. You're gonna intimidate? Yeah, because I'm holding, Roll it. I'm Pulling a dagger to that crutch right now. Oh, you throw throwing the dagger to him? No, no, holding it near his crutch. Like, don't follow me if I can. Alright, right, he calls for the guards. <laughs> guards, this woman's trying to hurt me! I did not do anything. You see two giants. 
show up. Excuse me, man. What are you doing here? Man, this woman just, woman just pulled a knife at my crotch. Um, well, right? I would have done it at your throat to help, or tell you not to do more. But you are a bit too high for me. The giants say she does have a point. I mean, she is smaller than you. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That is like, eh, why oh, are you being a pussy? <laughs> Best use of size ever. <laughs> the giants are bigger than him. Uh. It's like, what? <laughs> she tried to scare my thing is like maybe if you uh I was like I, I don't understand what you see in the gnome anyway so if you were trying to grab her ass come on just we'll buy your drink he's like he he just stares at you and follows the guard uh, oh yes <laughs> oh yes that worked out perfectly I tell you when I I my dagger I wait and continue on my shopping spree I just let the guards try to grapple me and I just slip away. This was great. Do you run away or do you like just keep messing with them? No, I keep messing with them and tell them to go get the Red Queen. Alright, roll me a percentage then. Alright, Oh. Things are about to get violent. Yeah. You see a bunch of more like trying to pile up in you and it's but it's one of those scenes in a movie where like D'Artagnan is like doing all these weird tricks like climbing up on uh, scaffolding and like jumping from and like dancing around and everybody's like cheering at this whole sight of our it's trying to catch this one cat. Oh, <laughs> uh, it just, it's like your dance. Uh, just, just about ready when you were climbing up on a roof. Um, give me a will saving throw. Okay, you can sense that you're being pulled somewhere. Do you accept being pulled, or do you resist? Mm. Where's the... Just out of curiosity. Alright. Just curiosity okay. killed the cat. <laughs> <laughs> you appear on a... Uh, and you see Ishtar looking down at you. Ah! Hello, kitty. Hello. Thank you. Were... Somebody would notice. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I was in the middle of doing some work, and I realized that you were in trouble. Yes, they apparently are on to us and following us now. I see. I noticed the one you were looking at. <laughs> he pulls out a, a, a ball of yarn, and he strings it between his hands, like, pulls it tight, cut the yarn. I cut the yarn. Alright. You notice the person that was following you? Like, he's near, um, on the wall, and he's look, staring at the person that was following you all the thing. You see the person, like, clutching his chest and, like, around. There. Was that so hard? No, but it was funny. But, yes. Seems now, like... I have a question what? for you. <coughs> yes? Can you retrieve his body and question him? He looks at you. Of course. He... He waves his hand on the mirror and... He dead. Dead body. Good. Oh god, I'll this guy's gotta be freaking out right now. 
Yeah, the guards are like looking around, like they saw the guy dropping it and his body disappeared and they're looking around. Like. <coughs> Alright. I um, try to get my bearings and try to follow the pursuers after I make my disguise check. Okay. So I'll look for them again. They seem to be uh, a barge that's in the water of the Endless River. Uh, one of the... You recognize the barge, it's called the... Um, the Lucky Goblin. It's a basically a barge. It has a uh, like craps, blackjack, all kinds of uh, gambling stuff in it, and it's clean. Uh, but you do see the orcs enter the arch. Are there any non-orcs? Uh, you do. See, yeah, there's there's other people there. Non-orcs, goblins, or. Uh, not too many giants on the water. Okay, I'll do my best to blend in, not uh, look uh, conspicuous. Yeah, there's a pretty big. It's a pretty big barge in the water, and there's, it's like um, like a war, like a. They converted a war gown into a into a casino, basically. So it's a pretty big ship that's been converted to a casino. It's got a large crowd. Okay, I'm gonna monitor the their uh, rogues that are going in and out to see if they're capturing any of my friends or whatnot. Okay. I'm sure they have to report back that they missed uh, misplaced me. Yeah. Um. Or that one of them is suddenly gone missing. ways and all that fun stuff, and then maybe we could bring, get, gather the party and, you know, make these guys pay. Yeah, you do notice that they go, the orcs go to where the, you know how casinos have uh, cash chips or place where they, um, Keep the chips and the money, the gold the exchange. The exchange, yeah. They go and the the two bouncers that are at the doorway to the exchange place let them in. You assume that's probably Rogesdale's kind of in plain sight, so to speak. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on one of these chips. So well, uh. Which chips do you want? They're, they have uh, five gold chips all the way up to a uh, thousand gold chip. I won't notice. Um, maybe just a five gold chip. Oh, you're going to steal it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you can go buy it at the table if you want. Oh, uh, I thought it was like a special chip the rogues were using. No, 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 no. Um... You know where, like, in a casino, they have the cashier's room that's separated from the rest of the casino where they go and count the gold that they take in? Okay, they, I thought they were just, like, showing them a, a special chip so they could get into that area. No, no, no. The guard just the guard recognized them. The guard just recognized them and let them in. I'll just keep monitoring that to see if there's any loot... Uh, well, I can already tell there's a problem. I mean, just recognizing people. I'll see. Um, I'll just keep monitoring their activities for now. If I see anything, just let me know. Um. Okay, Zahidi, where do you go? I'll probably go shopping. Go get go get food for the trip. Need a perception check. 
Yeah. Do you notice you being followed? Hey, I'm gonna have to roll phenomenal, and they're gonna have to roll utter poop. I don't notice anything. Wow, Leo. I, I tried to let you see them fall. You know, I mean... If I would have rolled been better... Worst... Yeah. This must have been the worst one they see. He didn't like the worst bro. No, the ball's not going to notice him. Paladin doesn't notice him. That was their thing. That's why they sent him. He was the newbie. He'll Go. be the easy mark. Go follow Paladin. He'll be easy. Okay, Zahida. While you're, like, in an uh, area where you're not near anybody, you feel a cold blade in your back. Like, not, like, sticking in your back, like someone should stick you up. Someone sticking you up. And you're like, listen quietly, or nobody will get hurt. Okay, that was a dumb move to make against him. I'm just gonna turn around and punch him in the face. All right, roll dead. I'm gonna attack the heavily armored guy with a dagger. You're wearing just regular gauntlets, right? Exactly. I'm just grabbing my base attack, my melee. No, my base attack bonus. Uh, I'm gonna save you. It's attack on you. I don't. He can easily get attack on me. I don't care. Oh yeah, he doesn't. Go ahead. That's it. Do your damage <laughs> to the face. And uh, plus my strength of potastic. Plus three, so four points of damage. Does that hit? Yes, that hits. Take five. Yay. Wanna draw your actual weapon now and start smashing his face in? Oh, I punched, I, basically I punched him and drew my weapon at the same time. All right, it's your action now. Because it was just basically here. Let me punch you as kind of my opener and go from there. Vital striking, of course. Missed by one. Aww. <laughs> Poopy. Miss. Uh, it's the Whiff Brigade! Whiff, whiff. What the? 70 what the? damage? How the heck did that happen? How the. Oh, it, it 65 at the end. No, it's because I. Somehow I, I tried to change my damage back down to a 2, and it cranked it up to a stupid, ridiculous 62. So it's 3 and 2, so that's 5. Plus what? So 5 plus, plus five, 2 ten, is seven, 7, plus another 5. five. No, it's just 5, five plus 5, so 10. Just 10, ten damage. Okay. That hits. Down by 10. Now lay on hands. I'm just going to hit him again. Alright. Uh, he falls down. Hit him. 
I even got a live one to interrogate. If he's not dead, dead. No, he shouldn't be dead, dead. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, let me see. How good's my heal check? Probably. You don't cool. like him? Hmm? Nothing. I was, I was just being funny. What do you oh, do oh, I want to pike him bad, but I'm like, no, no. I need to interrogate him first before I pike him. So let me Torture him before up. piking. It's a good kind of torture, because we're trying to prevent the assassination. He's, he's still alive, but, uh... Oh, I bandaged yeah. his wounds so he doesn't bleed out anymore. This is when you realize that it's not an orc. It is an elf. Disguised in the, as an orc. I will then go to our, our, our friendly uh, necromancer. Lich friend. At that point. With the guy over my shoulder. <laughs> Fancy, and they're gonna meet up with the lids. <laughs> hey, you found one too! This one tried to stab me in the back like a dumbass. Yeah, I made a scene and killed mine, but you know, hey, yeah, whatever. I got more experiments to go in. They're I... both elves, it's very strange. Okay, Leo, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can follow one myself. As he's going out. Okay. Uh, what was your stealth? Forty something. No, that was your perception rolls. Okay, uh, let me get, let me get you a stealth, new stealth check then. Oh, that's shitty, but still. Nope. Okay. They walk around and, um... Uh, Aaron. That's, uh... You realize now, Aaron, from that uh, perception check you had before, as as the guy's walking, the per this orc is moving, you n realize that um, this one didn't stuff the hair of his hair right, and it looks very much like an elf. He was well. I'll wait till he tries to hunt my par fellow party members down. He seems to be going in um, to the no location. You continue to follow him. I can use my ring at any time, so I'm not that afraid. He he passes by. Uh, uh, on all of a sudden, you hear a voice from um, somewhere saying. Uh, Uh, the cat and the paladin took out theirs. Seems like uh, Le and Lini scuffed hers. I told you it wasn't a good idea to follow them. Uh, Oz isn't the reason to... The other one answers back, we are not to question the authorities. It seems uh, they're very well adept. We should have had a bigger team to get them. Yes, but we have the gnome surrounded uh, when and ready to attack her when she uh, leaves her shopping area. Yes, the uh, the potion of of invisibility is working on most of them, so they're ready to. To jump on her. We'll at least get one of them. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I I, I'm like, hey, I find this funny because they're going after the one person that probably doesn't know squat. <laughs> Yo. Yep. I have no idea what's going on. What, what was that, Aaron? 
Reflex save. Ah, that's a shitty roll. Reflex save? Yeah. Okay. Impromptu fireball. They jump out of the way. Okay, initiative. Well, they will throw daggers at you. They both missed, I'm assuming. Hold on. Yes. Okay, for you save. Your turn now, okay, for you save? Yep. Is it one or both? Both. Sticky cloud, bitches. <laughs> Yay for stinking cloud. Yeah, out of five. They both fail. Okay. They're nauseated. All right. And I call the guards. They only get one action, right? Uh, yeah. They can. They can still do shit if they can see me. Oh yeah. Um. Bank of fog. They, they uh, run out of the fog, and they duck in the streets and corners. Uh, they they split up. Yep. Which one do you follow? One second. I'm, I don't know if they can run. Give me a second. I don't... I think the most they get is a move. They're just going to use the move action, yeah. Whatever. Nauseated creatures are unable to check, cast spells, cause concentrate on spells, do anything else required to check. Only action such a character can take is a single move action per turn. So they can only move one move action. Yep. They move. Which means that they're both still within my range. Okay. I cast Glitter Dust on one and follow the other one. Okay. Away. Oh, and it gets a well saving throw. Fail, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's now also blinded. Um, Aaron, roll me a will saving throw. That's right, I'm taking on two. You're just jealous because two people fought already. I know. I'm just using shenanigans though, so I have to rely on someone else to actually come and help me. Roll me a well soon, or... Okay, one second, please. He's gonna teleport me, isn't he? No. Yes, of course he's gonna teleport you. There's a key to you next to him watching this going down. Look at him like, she can't fight. He's like, I will save her. I'd, be, I'd probably be more like, just send me there to help. And poof, Aaron appears next to you, their resident. Well, I, I had them under control. Don't sure worry. You did. He pulls out uh, his the yarn again. I smile, and I cut it. <laughs> There you I'm go. Straight. I was just about to ask, what's that for? Fump, fump. That's what that's for. He smiles and he, this is my last one for the day. And he teleports the body of that one on the table. Another elf. Surprise, surprise. Yes, another yes. elf. That's the... We got two dead elves and one... Almost. Could you save Lenny for me, elf. please? What's that? Say Linny. Linny? The gnome? Uh, I gnome. Ah, yes. 
He moves way. Okay. Give me a percentage dice, Lenny. Uh, okay. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh! Oh. Okay. Alright, so you were shopping, so I was going to put you in like, uh, you were taking off your clothes, but you you got, <laughs> you were lucky enough not to be in the middle of changing or doing going to the bathroom or something weird. So you're like walking around, so go, go ahead and give me Will sitting up. Uh, Will sitting up? Okay. I want to see you fail this, because it would be hilarious. Mm -hmm. Uh, poof. Yep, you stand, you're standing in the, uh, in a room where you see the kitty, Zahidan, Elena, and Razmi. And of I course, wave. your best friend, Ishtar. I was still shopping. How many times do I have to save your life? What are you talking about? I wasn't complete safety. I was just shopping. Did somebody follow you? Yes, but I threatened to get off, and I've got the giant orc or the giants to take him away. Oh, so you only saw one of them? What do you mean with only she one? Missed the other dozen. Yeah, exactly. What? what other dozens? The other assassins that were there to kill you. You didn't notice more than one? Because <laughs> I noticed more than one. Well, it seems like you have a mox on your head. From someone. Oh, I know who. Yes. Well, we have three dead bodies to question. We have a living subject to question. <laughs> and of course, I have elven god bodies to figure. I always wondered if they make really good ghouls. No, they're immune to that crap. Ah, yes, I forgot about that. I go grab mean? one of the bodies off the table, grab a pike, and put on a pike, and be like, I feel better. Okay. Just <laughs> stand there and go, okay. Um, there was a I it doesn't matter to me how long you let it sit there, because, uh, you know, it is a good idea to let the flesh kind of drip off their, their body before turning to the skeletons. Okay, so how do you guys want to do this? You want to attack them, or do you want to have the queen handle it? Or do we want to report it to the Black Dragon? I suggest reporting it to the Black Dragon. Wait, you mean... What's Bla Black Dragon? The one who gave you your thingy. I was casual, you don't you know You mean about the Black Lights, you, light. you idiot? You were there in the meeting. It's a good thing I did not give my daughter to this idiot out of Nova. That lady... I... will kill her. No, I you... Her did that no, uh, I wouldn't try that. She was the one who gave me Louise, who tricked me. Into being yourself, Ooh. yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to mess with her, she'll kill you. Zerio? The great worm, black dragon. You think you can handle that? Even I would have troubles being that. I want to see that. See, that'd be an awesome fight to watch. She. The thing is, the only thing Lenny has going for him, she wouldn't even be a snack. So she might like, eh, not worth my time. True. Well. That all aside, we have to worry about what's going on. They might have found out about uh, anything that you guys were doing. Any plans that you were maybe concocting? Oh, they were trying to follow us, yes. Mm. I you baited mine. I'm seeing that the, uh, you two are here, you baited yours. Well, mine's over there. And <laughs> I point to one of them. I point to the one bound and gag, that's the one I brought in. And the gods have mine. Mine was dumb enough to attack me. Huh, so we can get another one that's alive. Yes, we have one alive. Alright, so let's go talk to... Um, you want me to just go talk to her by myself, or do you guys want to come with me? Well, uh, it might be a good idea that you keep 
hidden from sight. All right, I'll go by myself. Hey, you know I'm not close no, hiding. I'm sorry, I didn't memorize invisibility this time around. I turn okay. my ring and disappear. Oh. Right, uh, that's a good spot, I think, to end for this week. Yeah. So everyone gets another 1,000 XP. Me for my dramatic rope making a scene. And me for just making it a kind of joke that got me out of trouble. That was yeah. hilarious. <laughs> yes, it was. I would aim higher, but I can't reach it. <laughs> yeah, you're a little too tall for me. Oh, that was awesome. Alright, sign us out there, Jack. Alright guys, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know, leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. As for now, this is Strato Time, Lord Strato, signing out.